Salut, c'est Charlie pour welovemusic.fr. Well, I mean, I think how the same as anybody else reacted to this is quite shocking and um, it's difficult to know exactly what to think uh, other than um, you want to show your support, really, for, for, for those people and those families too. But um, it's, I think it's, for me, there's two things that I've, I've, I've thought about it. it you know, the fact that it's my name as well is kind of weird uh, because I want to show my support but um, I can only do it so much because otherwise it might look like I'm trying to kind of get on the, <laughs> like put my name around as well. So I, had to be, I have to be a little bit careful about that. And uh, the second thing is that, um, you know, I, don't, I, 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 f I feel like the same about I feel the same emotions that I feel when I read about what's happening in Syria and, and Afghanistan and, and, and Iran and Nigeria and, you know, um, what is it, Iceland or something? No, Norway. You know, so it's, it's happening everywhere and, it's, and that's what's kind of scary about it and, and worrying because it is happening everywhere. Well, I grew up as a country boy, and so, um, you know, I'm not that anymore. I'm, I'm a city boy, really, and, and I spend most of my life in cities, as much as I like countries. But I think it was like the city made sense to me because of the atmosphere that I wanted, the fact that I had a little bit more electro in there. Electro is not a, like a nature sound, it's a, it's a city sound. Um, and it was reflecting, the album is reflecting the, the country boy in the city, in a way. Well, I started halfway through, what, what year is this? 2015? Halfway through 2013. I tried to start at the beginning of 2013, but nothing came. So it was a slow process to, to starting to write. Um, but I, it was slow because I was, I was wanting to change my way of composition. So that's why it took me some time. Lately, I've been thinking This could be another soundtrack to your life no, it's just me. Uh, well, I collaborated with my friend. Uh, I started off on my own, and then I got some different engineers to join me, and then an old friend of mine, Jeff Southall, he came in, and he just finished touring with a, with a band, King Charles, and, uh, and he was free, so just the two of us, we started to make what we thought was demos, and then it just turned into the album. Like an the script by heart, the curtains have opened. But I've been it's watching like experimenting in different ways to write. Like before, my style of singing was much more strong, it was much more, um, it's difficult to say in words. I think it was not so much based on an emotion, it was more based on a, a feeling. That doesn't make any sense. It was more based on a, a, a sort of kind of expressing like a strong feeling rather than expressing a, a, a more of a vulnerable place. And, and so I changed the way that I wrote my melodies and then I changed the way that I sang my melodies. Um, and I was using contemporary influences to, 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 to change that. But I've been watching everybody play the part Yeah, I had this idea of a place, like a, like a distant city, 
in my mind and I just had to sort of slowly walk there and uh, once I got there then I started to explore the city. What happened was that I, and this is the reason why I had uh, Le Peur de Le Page Blanc uh, at the beginning was that we call it we call it writer's block. I I had to ask myself the question if I was if I was somebody else and I was listening to Charlie Winston and I didn't really get his music I didn't really understand it what would what would it be about the music that I didn't understand or that I didn't get and I realised that it was always the big personality. There was always a big personality on Hobo and always a big personality on Running Still. It was always like my personality was at the front and the music was behind. That's the way I think. And so I said to myself and, and made the challenge, can I make an album where the music, where the, pers the persona, the character, is, is, is more in the music, back, taking a step back and letting the music speak. And that was my challenge, really. So it's not that I didn't like what I was doing before, it's just that I wanted to explore it in a different way, from a different perception. This song is really just about looking at life in all of its black and its white and saying some of it's shit and some of it's not and some of it's great and there's no way, there's no one way to do it properly. You've just got to, you've just, there's, there's always, you know, in whatever happens in life, you always have to have a little bit of hope that it can be better and I think that's the, the real message of the song. It's really just a a hopeful song, which is why it's called a light. You know, so it's just bringing you a bit of hope, but without pushing it too much in your face. You know. Frankly, I'm not letting you through. You need another call. I think I like. I like their songwriting. I think they can write some really interesting, good songs. Um, I like their. I like that there's a style, it's quite a clear style and it's, I think it's progressive, you know, it's, it feels progressive but it also feels like it's taking a lot of old influences and mixing them up, like cutting them up like that and um, I like it because it's innovation, innovative, you know, it's, yeah, so I like the innovation of the music and it feels just, it just feels really artistic to me. Yeah, I think it was because at the end of my last album, it was uh, with all my contracts with record labels and everything finished. So all my, so I wanted to change a lot, and I wanted to, I wanted to have a, bring everything back a little bit to me, and and um, and also, you know, my previous two albums I had been produced, I had producers working with me and it was very important for me this time to just, for myself, to create exactly what I wanted to create, to have no other voices. I just wanted to listen to my voice and, and I wanted that to be the only voice I heard, really. Because it, cause I think there would be a danger otherwise of having been influenced in the wrong direction. Seeing how the others drive. Funny how they love to take control till something isn't working. I see them losing their minds trying to keep their pride. Well, truth, truth is very personal. Uh, too long is very personal as well. They're, they're, they're all very personal actually, um, in different, many different ways. 
Um, no, there's not one. There's not one more than the other. I mean, stories. The last song is is really really personal about my growing up in the hotel, and that's a subject I always wanted to write about. It's a very hard subject because it's like I kind of stopped all the memories from that period. Like, and my brothers and sisters, we agreed. We we said the same. They they said the same. Like, my brother tried. He told me that he tried to write a song about the hotel, but he couldn't remember anything. And my sisters were the same. So it's interesting because I I found it quite difficult to write about as well. Minds trying to keep their pride as they race for the first position. Give an inch and you take a mile. Well, couldn't you wait a little? We're so close to it all the time, you know. There's always we're so fragile human beings and I mean you only have to look at what happened last week in Paris to see how close ma humanity is to madness and individuals are to madness so I think it's just I think you have to have madness as a way to as a barometer you know um, of like saying that's where I don't want to go or that's where I do want to go you know that there's a I think what I was trying to express in, in the clip as well is that with madness you'd never really know if it's more if it's better or worse than not being mad. You know? Maybe madness is a is a, is a is a more interesting place to be. I mean I know from knowing many people who, who are bipolar and who have those kind of issues. You can call them mad, or you can call them sick, or you can call them what you want, but there's this kind of um, security in it as well. There's a security in that, in that place, you know? Being normal is, is sometimes more mad than, than we think. Lately, you've been living on the outside lane. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud of what I did because it really feels like it's me now. So I need, to, actually, I need a break from my album. I, I, I listened, I was listening to it because I had to for the, the mixes and everything, making the record. You know, you listen to it a lot, and now I just sort of need to have a break from it a little bit and just let other people enjoy it for a while, and then I'll come back to it and hopefully I'll enjoy it again. Living on the outside lane